So this is a deluxe balcony cabin. We've got the famous, really super comfortable princess bed. And you, as you can see, we've all been in here already. You can see the background. This sofa later on will convert into one of the children's beds. And then up there, you can see that will come down and that will be another bed. So I will show that later in the video. And then our balcony, which is actually one of the bigger balconies we've had. We always just get a standard balcony, but it's quite nice and it's longer than our balcony that we had on Sapphire. We are in a different grade though. We were just in a standard balcony. There's the lovely Southampton. And as you go back in again, you can see we've got the the standard mini fridge and there's a hairdryer in there. Um, what's really helpful, especially when you're traveling with four of you in a room is the USB ports. So you can plug your phones in. The TV, which it looks like they've already started watching. And then as with Princess, the wardrobes are always huge. And if there's not enough of the coat hangers, you can always ask your room steward for more. And then down here, we've got the cupboard with a fabulous safe, really good size safe. And then we've got our life jackets up there. Hopefully we won't need to see those anytime. And then we've got the bathroom, quite a nice size. It's got everything you need in here. I know there's a big debate on the shower curtains, but I don't mind. Makes the whole ship lighter, I'm guessing. So I'm assume, I'm assume that's part of the reason why Princess have um, shower curtains rather than glass doors. So that's about it for that. Well, our luggage hasn't arrived yet, but it will go. Our shoes will go there, and our luggage mainly will go underneath the bed.